The home screen is the first thing you'll see when you log into MPWeb. If you're on any other part of the software, such as work orders or equipment list, you can click on Home on the top left to get back to the home screen. On the home screen, you'll see a list of items that require your attention, such as overdue maintenance tasks or parts with low stock levels. There are three boxes at the top. The first one is for equipment due. This will show you a list of all equipment that have tasks that are soon due or overdue. The inventory low box will show you a listing of parts that are either below their reorder point or out of stock. The employees due box will give you a list of employees where their renewals are coming up due. Above the equipment due box, there is a blue filter here for locations. So right now it says all locations. You can click on this. If you want to see equipment from a specific location, you can choose it here. Likewise, on the inventory low box, you can view parts that belong to a specific warehouse. On the equipment due box, you'll see a list of equipment underneath. You can click the blue arrow to the left of the unit ID to view tasks that are due. Above the list, you'll see in blue where right now it says all due equipment. We can click on this and it gives us some extra filters. So we'll go over these quickly. Due means overdue tasks. Due soon means equipment that have tasks that are not quite overdue yet, but are getting there soon. You can set up how far in advance something is due soon at with the task settings, either on the maintenance template or on the equipment. You can view equipment that have repairs due, preventive maintenance due, renewals due, or that have inspections pending. For now, we'll leave it set to all due equipment. Toward the right, you'll see in gray, three due, one soon, and one inspections for our list here. So that's just letting us know what we have. We can address any of these items by using the buttons on the right hand side to create a new work order or to finish an inspection record. On the inventory low box, we have action gears for each of the part rows. Here you can do a receipt, which is to add quantity to the existing part, or we can click on purchase order if we want to order more quantity from a vendor. On the employees due box, there's an update button here. If we click the update button, we can move forward the expiration date. So we're telling the system we're taking care of that renewal. On the right hand side, we have a few charts. So we have a work orders chart, and we have a purchase orders chart, and we have a maintenance costs chart. So maintenance costs, it'll go through and basically as you go through and fill work orders out and finish them, it'll tally up the costs. For work orders, it'll let you know out of all of your work orders that are open right now, what the statuses are. So right now we have nine. If we put our mouse over the colored portion, it'll tell us how much belongs to each status. So we have seven open, we have one that needs approval, and one in progress. We can actually click on these. For example, let's click on in progress. And our work order list will automatically pull up with the status that we clicked on. So I'm immediately brought to my in progress work orders. Purchase orders is the same thing. So out of all of our open purchase orders, I have one that's in requisition and one that's ordered. So for example, if I click the ordered one, it'll bring me right to my purchase orders list with the ordered status. You can also export the charts on the right hand side by clicking this uh, button here with the three lines. I can print the chart or I can save it if I want to email it to someone. On the home screen on the very top, there's some handy buttons here. Uh, there's a big blue plus. If we click on that, that's our new record button. So you can go and make a new piece of equipment, repair request, 
straight from this button without going to this specific list. We also have a, a global search, which will search for any equipment or parts, all from this one box to quickly get to any records. So for example, if I click on this and we'll search for truck, it'll show me all of the uh, records in the system that match truck, and then I can click on the equipment to bring me straight to it. So that's a really quick, handy way to get to a record that you need. Thanks for watching. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel, or for more information about our software products, you can visit our website at mtcpro.com.